Hey guys, so I know I've been away for a while, um, yeah, there's no real reason for that, um, sorry, okay, so I can't, I was trying to get through my intro without saying anything, but I am so sorry about, like, the crazy light reflection, my windows face east, and there's, like, a mirrored reflected building, and then the sun is setting, so you're getting, like, the reflection of the sun through my windows, and that's what's causing this ridiculousness so if I do this it's like you can see me over here but trying to be in the middle doesn't work maybe I should just try to do that maybe I'll just do this I'll scoot over maybe can I turn you guys or will it mess everything up okay so how about that let's just let's do that for right now so that took a minute what I was trying to say before is that I know I've been gone for a while I just I was, so I was busy for a while with work and everything and some other family stuff, but really I was just feeling uninspired about my makeup. I just wasn't even wearing makeup a lot of times. I was just not feeling it. And I really think it's because I wasn't doing a project pan. So I definitely want to go back to doing those. You know, I was trying to downsize and I am trying to work on getting a blog sale done because I just keep putting it off and putting it off and putting it off and I should just do it and get it done with and like... If I can't sell anything, I can't sell anything. If it's a hassle, I'll never do it again, but I need to find out. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, that's kind of my issues. But anyway, so I want to do a project pan, but I don't know what kind. So you guys let me know. Let me know what, what kind of project pan you want to do if it's within what I have, because I'm not going to go buy things to project pan. Like, if you were like an all... I don't know. All Estee Lauder Project Pan. I don't own 10 Estee Lauder products, so I can't do that. But I know Kristen something, uh, I'm sorry, I'm really bad at names. Kristen something is doing a Project 10 Pan high-end collab uh, with someone else. So maybe like a high-end Project 10 Pan or an all-powder Project 10 Pan or all full-size Project 10 Pan whatever you guys let me know I'll try to pick the one that's most popular and I'll do that for project 10 pan so let us get on to the trash because there's a lot of it here not all of it's completely empty some of it is just me deciding to let it go let it go let it go let it go that's a different video Anyway, okay, I'm trying to stay focused. I'm not very focused today, but I am trying. So let's try, get, let's get started before I get more off topic. I already tried to film this once and then my timer went off and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, I am trashing this. This is a Burt's Bees beeswax lip balm, the original. I've used up that much of it. So um, yeah, this does not moisturize my lips. This puts a waxy coating on my lips. I do not like this. I probably didn't pay for it. My dad tends to buy me almost all of my Burt's Bees stuff because I liked it in high school and that's what he remembers. So um, I think he bought this for me, but it, you know, it's old at this point and I'm just, I'm done with it. I'm not dealing with it. This is a tool that I'm throwing away. It is a cuticle nipper thing, like a cheap brand. Um, this is crap. <laughs> it doesn't cut anything. But the Tweezerman brand of these like cuticle nippers is amazing life-changing if you do your own nails life-changing so definitely get the tweezerman don't get the cheapo kind um, and I love my tweezerman ones an elf professional smudge brush just like one of their cheap dollar brushes this is ancient um, I can't really clean it and it's I don't use it anyway I prefer bristle smudge brushes this is a wallflower that smells amazing it's actually in right now it's almost done it's plugged in in the hallway beside my kitchen. It is from Bath and Body Works. It is their fresh picked lemon mint leaf. It is so good. I have a candle in this scent and I cannot wait to, to, to burn it. That's that word. Burn it. It smells amazing. Go smell it. Go smell it. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. It is so clean and refreshing. It's like if I could just have that be my life, like if my life could smell like one scent, I'd probably want it to be that because it's clean, but it's also refreshing and it's not like powdery or detergenty. 
So, on to the next one. Laura Geller, Waterproof Eye Spackle Advanced Eyeshadow Primer in Fair Slash Light. This is like old. This is not empty. This is old and like dried, crusty. I tried using it. My stuff, my eyeshadow stuff creased. This is like, this is old. This is old. This is old. It should leave. So, it's old. It's leaving me. I'm not dealing with it anymore. This, I almost finished. Like, does that count? I almost finished it. It's a simple moisturizing face wash. It is not that. It is the opposite of moisturizing. It dried the crap out of my face. Um, it does not lather. It's a really weird gel consistency. It's not surprising that it dries my face out either, considering the second ingredient is sodium laureth sulfate. And like, so this is the kind of stuff that ticks me off about brands when they're like, oh, it's, first of all, moisturizing. I don't know how to make, how to, yeah, I don't know how to be able to make you guys see this. Now, okay, well it says it's moisturizing. It's not. It says it's kind of skin. It's not. It says skin loving nutrients. There's one of those and two vital vitamins for healthy looking skin. All of that is lies. It does nothing. It does nothing. There's a tiny little bit of vitamin E in it. Um, big whoop. It's getting washed off my face anyway. And it has parabens in it, which doesn't really bother me. But when you have this type of packaging, can you guys see it on this side maybe? When you have this type of packaging, I just feel like I just feel like this was very misleading. And I bought it with a coupon, like it was super cheap, but I hated both things that I got with that couponing deal. I hated this and I had hated the wipes from the same brand. So I'm done with simple. I guess I'm not a simple gal. I must be complicated. Here is another thing I'm tossing because it's broken. This squirter is like broken. I've fixed it a couple times. It's the Suave Touchable Finish Hairspray. It did really little to nothing. I don't really use hairspray on the regular, but that was my only hairspray. So I am looking to purchase one, preferably in a travel size because like I said, I don't really use that much hairspray. So if you guys have any good recommendations, please let me know in the comments. Um, here is a Dr. Brandt Laser Effects Bright Serum. Got this for free from work when I worked at Sephora. It was okay. Really didn't do anything. It really, I saw absolutely no difference. I wasn't super consistent though when I was using it. Just, yeah. Throwing it out there, my opinion, I don't think it does much. I don't remember the ingredient list, so I can't talk about that at this time. But, yeah, it d didn't do anything. The Body Shop Aloe Soothing Day Cream. I didn't finish this. This still has like half left, I think. It's a very gel-like consistency. Um, I honestly don't think it's very hydrating. I don't think it's super hydrating. And it's for, I think their hydrating line or their, no, it's for their sensitive skin line. Maybe if it's good for if you have really reactive skin. It smells like plastic at this point because I've had it for too long. And that's not the product's fault. That's my fault for having it too long and not managing my products effectively. That could be like a self-help book for beauty junkies, right? Managing your, managing your products effectively or effectively synergizing your products. Something I'm in a weird mood today, so sorry. Um, so yeah, I'm just tossing this because it's really old. I tried using it on my neck, but it was like making my neck kind of red. My neck is actually way more sensitive than my face, so usually that kind of thing doesn't work but I figured this was for sensitive skin so I tried I would give it a try but it did not work another tool I am tossing is this little little like outer lash curler so I have no idea what brand this is I don't remember where I got it when I got it all I know is I have it and I never use it so when you go to curl your outer lashes there's like this bar thing right there that bar gets in between your outer lashes and the middle of your lashes and creates a dent so, would you rather have outer lashes that aren't perfectly curled or a giant dent in like the almost middle of your eye? I would just rather have outer lashes that aren't perfectly curled. So, this, no, this is the junk. Uh, it just did not work for me. Um, Bosha Supercharge Overnight Moisture. This is an overnight cream. My goodness, this is difficult for you to see the colors. A Bosha Overnight Cream. I got this for free from work when I worked at Sephora. I love the packaging because it's a pump and a tube. That's that's my favorite, you know. I didn't think this did anything. It says it has a botanically based resurrection complex to help reduce and prevent fine lines and wrinkles. I think that's a bunch of BS, personally, but 
you may disagree. Um, yeah, it didn't irritate my skin, but I really didn't think it did anything besides providing a little bit of moisture. Here's something I actually did finish. Well, and I did finish that Bosha one too, and the, the Dr. Brand Serum. Um, Sephora pomegranate mask, a sheet mask. I got this for free when I worked at Sephora, noticing a trend. Um, this, it says it's anti-fatigue and energy and energizing. It's just, it's energy, it's energy in a mask. It's uh, anti-fatigue and energizing. I didn't like this. It was very wet. It was very wet, which is a pro, I guess, for sheet masks. Very, very wet. Um, this is my first time using the Sephora brand sheet mask, so it was very wet, which is good, but it actually irritated, that's right, it irritated my skin, um, not the skin on my face though, so it irritated my neck, like, so I took the extra, like, juices and, like, rubbed it on my neck and, like, on my elbows and the back of my hands, because, like, I saw someone do that in a video and I was like, that's a good idea, so I did that, and I had, like, a weird red spot on my elbow when I woke up and like my neck was all red like I'll get redness like in the creases in my neck when I sleep because I think I sleep like with like 50 double chins um, and they were like really bad and kind of like rashy looking and I got some on my chest too so whatever's in here my skin did not like did not like I'm not sure what it was that my skin didn't like, but my skin didn't like something in here. I do have like three more of those, not of the same flavor or type or whatever, but um, I'll use those and I'll let you know if they bother my skin too. Here's this little sachet sample from SK2, Salumination Aura Bright. I love that name. That sounds like the name of like, like a Bond girl from the 60s. Salumination Aura Bright. Illumination. I'm sorry. I'm trying to focus so hard. Focus. Um, so Illumination are right. It's an essence. It's a toner. Um, I can't tell anything with these little sachet packets except that it didn't make me break out. So I don't know. Absolutely no use to you. Um, I'm getting rid of this 100% pure eyebrow color in top because it's just getting old. I have products I'd rather use. I did make a considerable dent in this during my project pans and I was going to use this as an eyeshadow base but I just have so many other bases I'd rather use and since this is so old and it's natural-ish, ish, nothing's ever really natural. Um, it's natural-ish. I don't feel comfortable giving it to someone else to use nor do I have know anyone who would use a taupe eyebrow product so that's leaving me leaving me my skin looks so weird because the lighting change um there we go Caudalie hand cream hand and nail cream um and that says victoria heart amy amy was our Caudalie brand rep i got this free one i worked at sephora this smelled really nice um some people hate how it smells though because i remember at sephora some people hated how it smelled but I think it smells good. It smells like raisins, kind of, and grapes, which I like. Um, this is a good hand cream. If you hate grease, gr greasy. If you hate greasy hand cream, and like you type a lot, or you have to like shake people's hand, and you want to put on hand cream, but you don't want them to be like, oh, like, and like, you know, have the lotion on their hands then, or on your keyboard or something, because it's very non-greasy and it does absorb really quick. Um, but I don't feel like it's the most moisturizing. So if you chronically dry hands, like I would not use this at night. I never use this at night. This sat on my work desk. I never use this at night because it's just not thick enough. You know, I'm going to use something really thick then because that's the time to use something thick. This is definitely like a desk hand cream and honestly my hands are pretty dry. And I would rather just use something a little bit more emollient in the future. But if you're looking for a non-greasy hand cream or like you feel like everything you tried is greasy, try this. You might like it. Wow, we're up to 14 minutes already. I need to talk faster. A mascara I'm getting rid of, Lancome Grandiose. This is like the bendy swan neck one. I actually quite liked this because the bristles are nice and short. It's a nice and small wand, which is good for my tiny eyes and eyelashes. I got this free when I worked at Sephora, so it's just really old at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and toss it. Probably would not repurchase. I prefer other mascaras. Elf Mineral Mist something something a sprayer it's just super old I'm not it's just really old and I'm bothering with it Evian travel size spray water the cap is broken on this one like it doesn't spray right and it falls off I'm done fussing with it 
if I want a new one I can buy a new one but right now I'm working on a Mac Fix Plus a prestige brow pencil in light medium I believe I used quite a bit of it but it's just really dry at this point I probably would not repurchase in the future because it was a little too orange for my taste this is a sample from Sephora a mystery sample I don't know what it was I assumed that I thought I would remember from when I worked at Sephora but I didn't so I'm throwing it away because I don't know what it is. I don't know how to use it. It's some kind of like moisturizer, eye cream, serum, it's something like that. Uh, Tarte BB Tinted Primer in Fair. This is a deluxe size sample. Um, color match is pretty good on this. It's fairly sheer. Uh, it's not sheer for a primer, but it, it's not like, it's not high enough coverage for me for a foundation. And it was very silicone-y. I did not like how silicone-y it was. It just... I don't know, that texture just kind of freaks me out. Here is a foundation sample from Sephora. It's just really old. It was the Lancome Tinted Dull Ultra in whatever the lightest shade is. Um, it's just too old. Milani Brow Tint Pen in Taupe. This is way orange, no go. Um, Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden. This is super old. I did use up a lot of this. Um, like I took the stopper out. You can see that there's a lot of junk on it, um, but it's just really old at this point. And since I took the stopper out, it's gotten kind of gunky. Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream in number 13. This was a pretty good color match. Like a half a shade too light maybe. Um, maybe a full shade. I don't know. Depends on what time of the year. Like in dead of winter when I've been doing peels, it's like a half a shade too light. So I would just mix in a darker foundation with it. Um, but this is way expired. And I do like using it for the sunscreen. So um, I used like a decent amount. Like I definitely used it more than five times <laughs> like seven um but no i think i used it more than that but because you don't need a lot it's pretty it's very pigmented um good coverage i would buy it again but i bought this on amazon i would be more careful buying it and checking on expiration dates because um i do use it for the sunscreen so i wanted to i wanted to have an effective sunscreen when i'm using it benefit bigger than big big easy liquid to powder something something fair uh, whatever the lightest shade is. It's like a BB cream from Benefit. This sucks. I hate it. It's um, I tried to use it like a bazillion times. I got this for free when I worked at Sephora in gratis. Oh, you can see my roots that way. I'm going to leave my hair down. Um, very, very sheer. No coverage. And when it dries, it dries into like my flaky bits like terribly. Like even flaky bits on my nose. Flaky bits I didn't even know I had. And kind of into my pores too so I can't really think of someone this would be good for unless you have normal to oily skin with no pores and no imperfections to cover but then I don't know why you're using a foundation so just my two cents elf eyebrow kit in taupe I did use a decent amount of it well I've used some of it um I just prefer other products at this point I have a bunch of other ones and if I want to repurchase that one it's three dollars uh, Great Lash in Vision and Violet. I just hate this brush. I cannot work with this brush. Like, those spaces between the bristles are too big. And all my lashes go in the space instead of on the bristles. So they don't get combed out beautifully. And I've had this open for a really long time. So it's just, it's old. It needs to go. An e.l.f. Long Lasting Lustrous Eyeshadow in some sparkly black color. I dropped this on the floor a couple times. And I keep dropping it and it's really too sparkly for me and I don't feel comfortable giving it to someone since I've dropped it on the floor and telling them to put it on their eyeball. So I'm not going to do that and I'm going to toss it. Here's another mascara I'm tossing. Jordana Best Slash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. Like this wand, like look at that. It's bigger than my eyeball. Like how is this going to work? Like it's just too big. Like I don't under... I'm like, I have tiny eyes. Like, I need small mascara wands. This is not cutting it. And it is almost at my eye right now. This is not cutting it. So, yeah. Sorry, Jordana. Love your original Best Last Extreme. But this one with the green, no, unless you have giant eyeballs. Or lovingly large eyeballs. That's a much more positive way to put it. Um, this is a Josie Marin Arkin Luscious Lips in Liquid Gold. It's clear. Clear lip gloss. It's starting to like crystallize funny. I don't know if you guys can tell. Like, it's starting to crystallize towards the applicator, and I've had it around for a while, so I'm just a little not gonna put that on my lips. So, sorry if you think that's wasteful, but it's. 
the product is separating and I put it on my lips. If it was like a cheek product, I'd probably still be okay with it. I tested out to see if I broke out from it. Um, here's another lip gloss. It's the Revlon Coral Reef one. This is just really old and it's starting to smell like plastic pretty bad. Yeah, yeah, it kind of smells pretty bad. So it's a pretty color, but I just didn't use it, you know? It's the problem with these things. Um, Urban Decay Naked Skin Beauty Balm, their BB cream. This expired in October. Um, and that's just the sunscreen, which I don't really care too much about. And then I went to use it. I don't care too much about for this product. And then when I went to use it, it um, is all separated and funky. And I kept squeezing to see if like it was just at the front that it was separated. I shook it up. I'm not working that hard to use this anymore. I got it for free. So, yeah, I'm done with it. Um, I'm also throwing away this e.l.f. lip exfoliator. This is just really old. I never used it, which is a shame. It still smells good, but, God, it smells actually amazing. Like, it smells amazing. Maybe I should keep it. I don't know. Um, I'm, no, I'm just going to toss it because I've had it for, like, three years. Uh, two and a half, maybe? Like, whenever I made my last e.l.f. online purchase, and even the magazines from that have stopped coming, so <laughs> it's been a while. Um, and if I want to repurchase it, I can. This is a candle, Bath and Body Works Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow. It still looks like I have a lot of product in there, but it's not really burning very well. I got no scent throw from this anyway, so what does what is the difference? If I can get a few more hours of burn out of it or not, since I got no scent out of it, I'm not just burning it because I like how it looks. Like I know some people do like how it looks. I'm always looking at like a screen, so <laughs> I'm not enjoying the candle's glow. I'm using it for the scent, and it just did not work. It did not work. Um, oh, sorry, my battery thing is like dismissed. Okay, this is some kind of Travelo. Actually, no. You know what? I think I put this in here to clean. I'm gonna that. I'm gonna try to clean that, and make it work. We only have a few more things. I promise. Oh my God, 22 minutes. Ugh. Um, Bath and Body Works warm apple cider hand soap. This smells heavenly. As you can see, it was in my bathroom with all these toothpaste flecks on it. it. Smells amazing. Would definitely recommend this. I will try and if I get Bath and Body Works soap in the future, I will look for this one. This actually would linger on my hands a little bit too. So I knew that like it was pretty, like it was kind of nice for me because I enjoyed how like this smell. It smelled just like cider. Just it smells so good. It smells so good. And you can tell this is an old one. Their new ones are not as good. But it smells amazing. But if they, if they have this again, I will sniff it and maybe try it out. Um, Desert Essence Coconut Hand and Body Lotion. This smells amazing. Oh, it smells amazing. It smells amazing, guys. But look at this. Look at this ridiculous color that... Do you see that color that the lotion dries to? The lotion does not absorb very well. And it's this weird mustardy, like chalky mustard color. Um, I think if they just like got a better formulation of lotion and put this scent in it, I would love it, but, um, I don't think I'll repurchase that. I swear I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Uh, eye cream, fresh creme on sand eye cream. So happy I finished this guys. This is a $110 eye cream. Oh my gosh. No, I want you to be able to see that I finished it. I finished it. See? See? I finished it. There you go. You can kind of see it. $110 eye cream. I really didn't think it did anything. It's supposedly handmade by monks. I don't know. The monks must have been, you know, having a rough day when they made mine. But I got this free from work when I worked at Sephora. Unless you have crazy dry under eyes. And you maybe put like an oil on first and then put this on top to really seal it in because it is quite waxy. Um, I just don't get it. It just does nothing for me. It doesn't float my boat. This is pretty old too, like five years old. David Bobby, Bobby, baby, I don't know. For a Wild Aid Bohemian Beach Spray, you see 2009 up there. Yeah, it's old. This was pretty good when I had long hair and would spray it in when my hair was damp and then I would like braid my hair, twist it up or something. It worked then, but on short hair it didn't work too well because I had to blow dry my hair. And the second ingredient is sea salt, so it did dry my hair out a lot, which again, not surprising considering it has sea salt in it. And that's the second ingredient. It smelled really nice though. It smelled, it smelled like the beach probably, I guess, because of the salt. I, don't, I guess that's what the beach smells like. Um, almost my last thing, second to last thing, my green glam glow. I finished this. I'm so bummed. I really enjoyed this. Like, I'm happy I finally finished, um, a mask because I have so many, a mask. 
because I have so many, but I really, really love this. I'm thinking about buying another one. Like, I got this free from work when I worked at Sephora, so, and I've never purchased a Glam Glow, like, actually purchased one. I've gotten, like, deluxe bonuses and samples, and um, this one and the blue one I got for free when I worked at Sephora, but I really, really, really like this. This is, like, it deep, it deep clean my skin. It was a deep cleanse for my skin, but it did not strip my skin or make it tight, make it itchy, it didn't make it freak out, didn't make it flaky. It was just amazing and beautiful, and I love it. And no one talks about it, and I'm, I feel like I feel bad, like I feel offended upon the Green Glam Glow's behalf. I just really, really liked this. And they also have half sizes now, or like the half fluid ounce, which I guess is like a third of the normal size. I might buy that. I'm either going to buy that one, the half size or the half ounce size, or the full size during the fall VIB. I don't want to do it for the chic week because I want to try and get through more of my mask. It smells like pears, 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 which I didn't really like in the beginning, but now I like. So there's that. And then my last thing... Where is my other thing? Okay, my very last thing. I am getting rid of this My Chihuahua Bites nail polish. As you can see, I'm about down to the middle of the word nail because I bought this Aloha from OPI. They're almost the same color. Um, this one would peel off my nails every time I used it, no matter what kind of base I used, no matter what kind of top coat I used. So this nail polish is old. That means it is old and expired. So it is leaving me. It is leaving me and going to rest in nail polish heaven so that is all of my trash a lot of it a lot of it was just stuff that I finally was cleaning out if you guys have any questions please let me know thank you for sitting through this thank you for watching me thank you for continuing to watch me even though I have long periods of time where I do nothing on YouTube very much and let me know what kind of project pan you want me to do down below like any kind as long as I have the means to do it I'm pretty much willing to do whatever because I really miss it and I want to jump back in with a bang and now look look at how pretty that view is it's not all crazy anymore all right guys i will talk to you later thank you so much Bye bye